Hi everyone. I'm really excited today to um, set up my planner for the upcoming school year. Um, I have about three or four weeks left um, of summer vacation before we go back to school for the 22-23 school year. So I printed out um, the new pages that I'm going to be putting in and I thought I would take you through what my planner um, ends up looking like and show you some of the pages that I've been using from last school year so that you can get an idea of what it's like. Um, if you don't know already, the pages that I use in my planner are from the Plan My Whole Life Music Teacher Planners. And I use a little bit of a modified version of the Dated 5. I have a lot of information about the different lesson planning formats that I have for those planners. But the cover and rings that I have that you see here are from Happy Planner. And um, I use, I get asked about this a lot, I use a really cheap hole punch um, that is from Levenger actually. I get them on clearance. So you can mix and match these things actually but I just hole punch the sides so that they fit in the discs. And if you're new to disc binding, I highly recommend it for your teacher planner. It's so easy to put pages in, as you can see, and it lays flat, unlike a um, three ring binder. And I know my rings are pretty big, so they stick out a lot because I like to keep a lot of things in my planner. Most discs are smaller than that, so it's more like a spiral binding. And then when you want to take pages out, it's really easy to take them out so that you can write on them, so you can hand them somebody else, you can get rid of them. So I think that's really cool. Anyway, um, I have the cover that I've been using for maybe a couple of years now, and then I keep a little pocket in the front. I try to keep my three latest pay stubs. And then this is just a spot for papers that I need to reference to hang out. I always keep my favorite pen to use to write in my planner is um, the Frixion. Uh, it's an erasable pen, but it's the slim one. It's 0.3 millimeters. I don't like the really thick regular ballpoint size, so this is really nice. And then I keep a pencil as well and like some little blank note cards and stamps in case... I need it because you know these things happen, right? Um, this is just a hard cover that I really need to get a new one for, but I haven't done that yet. Um, it just keeps the rest of the papers from getting dented by the bulky random stuff that I tend to put in this zip pocket. Um, so it helps keep the pages nice. And then this was the planner cover that I used last school year that I'm gonna take out. So I always laminate whatever the cover is that I'm using so that I can use it from year to year and it keeps it a little bit more sturdy. Um, this year, I printed out, I designed this one and printed it out. It has a quote, it's a little hard to read from far away, but it says a music teacher helps their students find the song in their heart, the beat in their feet, and a passion for life, which is one of my favorite quotes, music teacher quotes. And I love this design, but I also um, have gotten a little bit smarter and realized that I can print covers so that I could change it out in the middle of the year without having to laminate a whole nother sheet. Um, the last few years I've just been whoop, <laughs> printing one and then the back is blank, but this year I printed another design on the other side. So if I change my mind and want to do something else, I just flip it over and stick that in. But I'm going to use this side for right now. Um, I like that other rainbow pattern. This one is nice. It's upside down because it's backwards right now. But um, I like this one because it matches the uh, classroom decor that I have in my classroom as well. Um, so I need to change out. I have, I always keep, you know, one of each year, a full yearly calendar. So um, I'm gonna change that out for the 22-23 school year. And I also 
need to change. So I always have my school calendar on one side, that like the district's calendar, and then my class schedule, which I don't have a final class schedule yet, but I always, I've learned over the years, especially during COVID, that class schedules tend to change. So I uh, just tape them in, honestly, um, and then I can change it out if I need to. So I have the school calendar, the district calendar for next year, and then the class schedule part is just blank for right now. So we'll add that in when we get it. Um, this was a new thing for me, I think, last year, and I'm keeping this again. I love, so I have in the planner printables, and I've used for years, the, um, it just has boxes for each month, and I plan out, I map out my long-range plans for the year for each grade that I teach that way. Um, I put those into Google Slides format. And I realized this would be really handy for me to have printed out as well. I just find sometimes I take my planner and I'm not right at my computer where I can just pull it up easily. And this is an easy reference rather than me clicking, you know, opening the computer, getting to Google Drive, all that. So I also have a checklist version of all the skills and concepts. Um, and I have these that you can buy as well if you are wanting to have your year mapped out for you. I have found this to be unbelievably helpful, especially like this was the only thing that got me through the pandemic. Um, or it got me as far as we have gotten now. So I have each grade here. Um, I also, I am the um, events committee chair for my building. And I kind of forgot that I'd printed this out, which was a really smart idea, and then I just didn't use it. So I'm keeping it so that I can use it, hopefully. And then I do teach, um, I do as part of my job, and you'll see later for my lesson planning pages why I've modified it as well. But um, I do 60% of my job is teaching, and then 40% is in administration, working with the um, fine and performing arts department for my district. So I want to map out a little bit more long range planning. And again, last year was my first year in that job. So good intentions didn't happen, but I'm gonna keep it. Um, I do also keep all of my um, plans that I've done from year to year for different concerts. Um, I do big K to six concerts in the spring and I've kept those plans from year to year and I wrote on the back what the year was so that I know what I did and I can kind of go through a little rotation and remember how I did it like I have my stage set up and stuff here um, so that's what those are and then these are all the months from last school year I love doing um, decorating my pages this is definitely not necessary but I've always been a scrapbooker and it really helps me process when I go through, I always find when I go through the process of like looking at my school calendar, looking at, um, trying to get this in frame, there we go. Um, looking at my, you know, home calendar and trying to coordinate everything and put it down when I like actually have to physically write it out and stuff. I just find I process everything a lot better. So these are just all the months from this last year. Um, this was music in our schools month. That was fun. I think June may be one of my favorite calendars from this last year. And well, I mean, I like July too. So it's currently August. So that's why I have this little bookmark thing in here where I keep post-its that I need to actually add more post-its to but let's do this first so um, I have these tabs I have the few things that are like really long range in the front and then I have a tab for curriculum and then this is a tab for the month pages and those are basically little sticky note tabs so I just reuse them from year to year I laminated them so that they would last longer because we know teachers love their laminating. So um, I am going to put the tabs.
tab now and I want to space it out evenly here but I'm going to put it on the edge of the current August and then let's add in the pages you can see this is what always happens um, I you know I have little things that come up for future months um, that I want to note in my planner so I just write it on a sticky note and stick it on there if it's a specific day I'll usually use one of these little flags and write it on the exact day but um, let me really quick show you how I take care of this. So I just keep, I don't want it to be too bulky in here. So I keep a few um, post-it notes of each color because you know, that is just happier. Um, but I don't keep too many. So then I just kind of, when it starts to run low, we'll add a few more. So let's just add a few more of each color so that we're ready for the new year. And like I said, I use these mostly when um, there's some kind of future planning thing that comes up, a date, or just a quick note that I need to make to myself. Whoops, took the wrong side. Um, in my planner, then I'll one of these but you know it has come in handy a few times at work to have these little post-it notes available for other things not just my planner so I like having them on hand so yeah I just pull it's maybe like five or so of each and that usually gives me enough and then I do different um, ones of these bigger sizes down at the bottom, uh, depending on like the, I'll do ones for different seasons. So I'll do this like teacher life one for August. Why not? Um, and I get post-it notes everywhere. Um, just, and honestly, I've just been using up my stash the last few years. I haven't even, um, bought new ones in a while, but these were from Target Dollar Spot, and these flags, I actually think I got as a gift, but I've seen these sets at Staples. They have these sets of all those different flags. Okay, so now my bookmark is replenished, and it's marking the, and I keep, these are, you know, extra sheets I keep on the backside, but that's marking where the month is, and we added in, I go ahead and put in all the months for the year. It's not that many pages, um, but if you really want to keep your planner slim, you could just print out like six months at a time or something. Um, and then these are the weekly pages for the last um, six months or so I think yeah because this is December um, and then this I printed for you know while we were on break and then January oh yeah so I just have these because that's where the tab was I think but this is the summer so I don't use these um, so these are the weekly pages that I use during the school year and you can see I have blocks for lesson planning and then I have a little spot to note like the, ro day, the rotation day, extra spot up here and at the bottom for like before and after school, things that are happening at like home life and then a note section, to-do lists and all of that. And of course you can see I decorate these as well. Um, but I'm gonna take all of these out and I'm also gonna take out, I'll leave the summer ones in. So in vacation, I don't need all of these um, lesson planning blocks, of course. So I use these, and these are also printables in the same planner sets, but it's just a condensed week because I do still need to keep track of things, I find. Um, so this is current week that we're on. 
So I'm gonna leave these in for now. This was from also break, yeah. So um, we'll take those out and I'll take the weekly tab. So you can see how easy it is to switch pages in and out. And then actually, I guess I'm gonna put this on the first week of the actual lesson plans for the school year because once the school year starts, I will take out these um, summer pages. I won't need them anymore. So um, these are all of the pages I just printed out through December. Um, and then I skipped, you know, the vacation week in there for when we come back. But I don't know if I can get these all in at once. Let's do half at a time. Um, but the way I have this, so this is different from um, what I have um, called the dated five format. Um, I've modified it to have four blocks in a day instead of five. And I have a blog post and video that explains how you can do that easily on your own if you need to adjust something with the boxes yourself. But that's because again, you know, I have only 60% teaching and then the other 40% of my job is administration. So I just didn't need as many lesson planning blocks anymore. So I'm gonna put this though on here for the weekly pages. And then behind the lesson planning pages, I keep and I have just a um, blank one for now, but I put, you know, the IEPs for my students and um, the medical information for students that I need to keep track of. And um, I also have the contact log that I keep track of with the, um, you know, whenever I contact family member I try to keep track of if I spoke with them sent home a note which I don't do so often anymore phone call or email and then what it was about and then substitutes and days off so that I can keep track and then I have you know a lesson log which I haven't been doing as much because I keep stuff in Google Slides but um, wish list so that's all the school stuff and I'm gonna add, I actually already took out the um, grade grading sheets, but I think I'm gonna put those at the end of the school section. I really only use these um, grade book things for report cards. I keep track of what I what each kid got each trimester so that I remember what they got the last trimester when I'm going to do their report cards grade. The rest of my, you know, assessments and stuff I keep in uh, my seating chart that's in my classroom, but these are just for report cards. So those are all my report card grades and then I have um, stuff for organized chaos and then I have uh, the home section, which has like birthdays and contact information and then like a um, cleaning schedule and bills and things like that, which I won't show you because it's got some information that I don't need to be sharing. But um, then I have a couple of um, these little file pockets at the back. And I also, I keep some extra note paper um, at the back as well for any time I need to pull out a piece of paper and this is the I keep like my chorus music in here but that is everything in my planner and I am all set up now for the 22-23 school year so I hope that you enjoyed um, getting my planner ready as much as I did if you have any questions about anything that I shared here today, um, please leave me a uh, comment and I'd be happy to answer and help out any way I can. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye!